Well, hello there everyone. David, your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again. Well, I've been asked to do something a wee bit unusual today. Um, it's kind of a traditional thing in Scotland. I've never heard of it anywhere else. What you get, what you do is you get a roll. Or whatever it's called where you are, I call them a roll. Normally it's a crispy one, but seeing I'm snowed in at the moment, um, I'm able to get down to the baker's to get a crispy one, so it's a bog standard morning roll. And a pie. Now, you're probably thinking, right, interesting combination. What you do, we get the roll, and a knife, and we cut it in half. Like so. Then we break into the pie. Now this is apparently a famous Kilmarnock pie, also known as a Killy pie. So I'm going to open this up. <sighs> Smells lovely. You get a lot of these at the football grounds. The Killy pies. They come in a wee box like that. It comes out like that. There you go. A killy pie. Now, what we do with the killy pie, we stick it on a plate and go to the microwave for about a minute and a bit. This is in the fridge. I'll just pop this in here. And we'll start that off. Now, what we'll also do is we get brown sauce. And give me a shake. Put some on the roll. Top and bottom. Spread it on. Like this. I'll let you see it in a second. Ah, oh, the spices and brown sauce, that's lovely. Yeah, quick wee spread round like that. One roll with brown sauce on it. Make reasonably thin. Give it, it's not quite hot there, I'll just give it another 30 seconds and see how it goes. So, that'll be done in 18 seconds, we should be ready. Ten seconds. Five. And it's going on. That's better, the plate wasn't quite right on the thing there, in the microwave, so one roll with brown sauce. Now, normally you'd do the pie in an oven, so the pastry was a bit crisper. That's like that, it's going to get a wee squish more brown on the top of the pie, like so. Almost fell off there, but there we go. Ooh. That is now very, very hot. <coughs> Maybe I should have left it at a minute. So, for those of you who think this is a bit odd, what I normally used to do was get a sausage roll. Hot sausage roll in a buttered roll. I'm not putting butter on this one. Um, but you'd also get a Mars bar. Stick it on the top. The Mars bar would melt into the hot 
the sausage roll, and you'd eat that all in one. I may yet do one of those. So, there we go, that's what it looks like. Am I going to have a wee bite of this? Well, that's nice. It's a Scotch pie. Now this was actually the winner of the best savoury product in the pie competitions. It's the Scottish Bakers Awards, which I actually normally cover. Um, it's generally the testing's done about five minutes from where I live and you go in you get all these pies, bridies, sausage rolls um, there are sections for weird and wonderful things you get sort of venison pies, haggis pies bean and potato pies uh, bridies, I think I've mentioned bridies um, pizza slices basically anything you'd get in a baker's now what's in this? It helps me put the glasses on that I can actually read with. To say my seeing glasses. Whoa! <coughs> right. What is in a pie? The pastry has wheat flour, water, margarine, palm oil, rapeseed oil, water, salt, emulsifier, acidity, regular. God. See when you actually read what's in these things, it makes you wonder why you're eating them. Now the meat filling. Beef, 32%. Water, gravy. Wheat, flour, modified maize, starch, salt, colour. Oh, God. Lots of stuff you wouldn't want to eat. But in the end, it all tastes good. Now, normally a Scotch pie was used to be made with mutton. But a lot of them are making it with beef now. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to cook it in the oven so the pastry is crispy. But you can eat it otherwise, like this done in a microwave. It's better, Clive. The filling is now red hot. Um, so I can let you see what it looks like in there. Now, a lot of you may think that looks like one of the most unappetising heaps of whatever. And I'll agree with you, it does look like that. But, when you taste it, there's all for beef. That was a fatty bit of beef, that. That's really got a lot of... Mm. It's got a lot of good taste to it, that. It's not just like mince. It's actually chunks of meat in it. In fact, it's almost like a steak pie. That is really nice. It's unusual. I know folk will think it's really weird. But you know what? Tastes everything. You don't burn your fingers because you've got the roll. Um, you've got some lumps of steak. The brown sauce has got all the... Got a lot of flavour in it as well. The gravy in this... <coughs> um, it's not a runny gravy, it's more like a, a gloop, is the best way to describe it. Um, and it all just sort of holds the meat together. Mm -hmm. I've not had one of these in a long time like this. 
bear in mind when you think we've got 10 inches of snow out the back, out in the garden there. I can't actually get my car out of the driveway because the snowplow came down the street the other day and we've now got a heap about two and a half feet in front of the drive. Um, plus all the snow around the car. It's kind of lucky that I don't have to go anywhere just now. But comfort food. I think it was minus 12 last night where I am. So, cold, snowy, a pie and a roll. And half my moustache in my mouth. You know, I've not had a killy pie since last time I think I was photographing the football in Kilmarnock. I forgot how good they were. Mm. I actually got this one reduced, which makes it even better. Normally £1.45 and I got it for 63 pence. There you go. You cannot go wrong with that. It's only a couple of days out of date as well. I've had it in the fridge though, so it's absolutely safe. <coughs> Microwaved it there so it's all nice and cooked through. Have a drink of apple juice. I love that, it's just apple juice with lemonade and it out of the fridge. It's really good. So, um, I'm going to toddle off just now, go and finish this. Hope you are all well out there. Take care of yourselves. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button or uh, if you haven't already subscribed, that would be greatly appreciated um, if you'd hit that wee red button and if you hit the bell, it'll even let you know when I do some more of these wild and wacky things. Sometimes I do just straightforward reviews, sometimes I do some cooking stuff, if you know me. <coughs> and other times, I'll put a pie on a roll. So, as I said before, take care of yourselves, hope you're all safe out there and keeping warm. See you later. Take care.